Hey guys, welcome back to another Makeup Monday. This week, we are finally going to get into the Lolita Por Vida palette from Kat Von D. Um, this coming out way before this is transitioning out of being Kat Von D and will be KVD Vegan Beauty. Um, but I've had this for a while, just other launches and other video ideas have taken precedence over it, but I haven't played with it because I've been so good. But if you know me or you've been here for a while, you know that I love the OG Lolita palette. And we actually unboxed it here as one of the first Makeup Monday videos. So that being said, I have that one. We've got the new guy. We're gonna get it open and get going into some swatching and Maybe comparison, we shall see. Uh, I do love their packaging. Like it's cute. Like the little, little stars on the inside. Small touch, but very cute. So here's the palette. It's raised like the original Lolita. Um, you can see that it's glossy while the actual palette is matte and it's gorgeous scripted. I love the little like ombre moment it has. Oh, okay. So piece of plastic, get rid of that. We don't need no plastic. First of all, look at how big this freaking mirror is. And second of all, look at these fucking colors. Like this, this caught me off guard. So we've got six pans in each row plus we got these three big pans we're gonna get into it we're gonna do like we always do straight across and down um so let's get into it because there's a lot of stuff to swatch i forgot how many colors this palette had in it now let's get into it so the first color is preciosa let me fold that over we're gonna start down here because there's so many colors, I'm going to start all the way over here. So that is Preciosa right here. Then we have Sonrisa. I feel like this is going to be the first color I fly through in this palette. That's so fucking pretty. That duochrome on it. Like, I love that. Like, really love that. Then we have Muñeca, which that goes here. So that's Muñeca. And then we have Cruz, which is going to go here. So that's Cruz. Then we have Romantico, which is this beautiful purple. We'll put that right there. That's Romantico. And then we have Cariño. Which that is Cariño. Now for the next row, we have La Lupe which is this like really beautiful orange. It's very pumpkin. We will put that there. That is La Lupe. Then we have Dulces Sueños, which is one of the first big pan. Holy heck. This is the first of the big pans in, okay. This formula is a little bit weird. It feels kind of like a putty and I just grabbed way too much and it stuck on my hand. So this is what we picked up by accident. Um, and look at how much product is still on my finger. Like, it's crazy how much product I picked up and look at how much is swatched on my arm.
That's gorgeous, though. Like, really and truly. But the formula is a little bit weird. Next, we have Enamorada. Which will go right there. It's like a perfect little pink moment. Then we have the next of the really big pans, which is called Reina, which this one is just like pure glitter. I'm gonna do my best to not pick up too much this time. Okay, this reminds me a little bit of the, that NARS glitter from their Inferno palette, um, where I would have been better off tapping it across, but that is Reina. Very, very blinding glitter. Next up, we have Esperanza. Which is a cute transition color for me, for sure. That is Esperanza right there. And then we have the last big pan in the palette, which is Nuna, which is gorgeous. That's really pretty. I like that a lot and it's blinding. That's really pretty. Now for the last row, we have Amorcito. It's the first color, which is a really nice light brown, kind of taupey, kind of. That's Amorcito. Then we have Silvia. which that's Sylvia right there. Then we have Juanita, which is one of the darker colors in the palette. That's Juanita right there. And then we have Destino, which is this really cute, like champagne nude. A little bit of pinky. So that's Destino. Time for the last two. So next we have Rosario, which will go right there. So that's Rosario. And then we have Lolita Por Vida, which looks like it's a darker Lolita. That's Lolita Por Vida. Now, just for kicks, let me swatch Lolita next to that to see the difference in the colors. Yeah, it's definitely slightly darker, it looks like, in the can. Nope, that's the wrong one. Okay, it definitely looks slightly darker in the pan, so this is regular Lolita. And I'm gonna swatch that right on top. Yeah, so this is Lolita Por Vida and this is Lolita. Lolita is definitely a little lighter. Um, Lolita Por Vida is a little bit deeper. But all in all, those are the swatches. I'm pretty impressed, I'm not gonna lie. Like most of these went on really, really easily. There were only a few that took a little extra love um, and they were mostly the larger pan. Luna went on the easiest of the three large pans and Dulce Sueños would have went on a little easier if I hadn't like pressed down too hard when I was like picking it up. So I kind of made a mess of it. If you look, you can see how I jacked up that pan so bad. Um, and like excess product that was coming out of there, I stuck back on. But um, I won't hold that against the shade. I definitely still really love Sonrisa. Luna would be next. 
And I'm trying to think of which other would be like top three. My favorite. Maybe Rosario. Like of the shimmers and then like Lolita Por Vida, I'm probably going to use a lot as well as like Juanita because it's a dark brown and I love a good smoky eye. But I love all of these lighter shades too so that you don't have to go super dark. You can get like a really cute everyday kind of look for work. And then like if you keep this with you, you would just like smoke it out for the nighttime and it would be really cute. So this is a good travel palette, I think, because you have some good neutrals. You can get like a neutral matte eye. You can do a colorful eye. You can get a good little daytime shimmer going. You can get a good smoky eye out of this. All in all, you got options in this palette. And the colors are the kind of colors that you can wear with almost anything and like your eye look won't matter. <laughs> so I think this was very well done. I definitely love it. Um, it might take some getting used to with that like, well, I don't know how to describe the texture of the bigger pans. They're like putty. It's like already primed glitter like kind of how I felt about the NARS. Like Reina is definitely like glitter that's pressed with like light adhesive, if that makes any sense. Like it doesn't, I don't know how to explain it. It's, if anyone knows what the heck the actual deal is with that, please let me know. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you as always. I loves you. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a great week. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, do all of those things anyway. It's free. <laughs>